Hello again everybody and welcome to another one of our videos. My name is Nathaniel and I am the swim specialist. Have you struggled when learning how to do a push and ride? Well in today's video we're going to show you exactly how to do that. There's six challenges to cover so you can learn, master and develop your push and rides. In your first challenge today, you are going to perform a pencil float. In challenge one, we want you to practice a pencil float with disc. The key points here are to make sure that you perform the arrow position. Keep your head down and squeeze. In your second challenge, you are going to perform a push and grab, but you are going to use just one foot to push away. In challenge two, you are going to perform a push and glide with one foot on the wall. The key points here are to place one foot firmly against the wall, take a breath and make sure you put your face in the water first. In your third challenge, you're going to have one arm extended and you're going to place both feet against the wall, which will help you push and glide. In challenge three, you are now going to perform another push and glide, but with one arm extended. So the key points here are to aim with one hand, then go into an arrow position, and finally shoot with both feet pushing away from the wall. Now you are in challenge four, you are going to start with both hands on the wall, both feet on the wall, and do a push and glide through a hoop. To make it easy, apply two discs on each arm. In challenge four, can you have both hands and both feet against the wall? You are now going to practice that push and glide through a hoop. The key points, to make sure that you put your face in the water first. Then go into the arrow position and push with both feet. Now you're in challenge five, and we want you to do exactly the same, but to make it more difficult, reduce the disc from two just to one. In challenge five, you are repeating the same practice, but you are reducing the amount of disc. So the three key points are to emphasize, your head goes in the water first, your hands get placed together, and then you push with both feet. And finally, in your last challenge, we want you to practice the push and glide all by yourself without the use of equipment. In challenge six, you are now going to do the push and glide without any discs. So, can you take a reasonable breath? Keep really still once you push and glide and squeeze so you are as thin as possible. Thank you very much for watching today's video. What we've shown you is six ways for you to learn, master and develop your push and rise. We hope you found it useful. If you have, make sure that you click like. And if you have anything to share with others, then please comment below. And finally, subscribe to join our community and then click the bell so you can be notified of our future weekly videos.